welcome to part two of this EPL saga. Who's on their way up and who's on their way down? Promotion and relegation. This is a term that... We'll Which, how explain. funny, I was promoted at my job a couple weeks ago, there so I, I had gotten promoted. <laughs> they don't want to be relegated. Now, That's true. for those of you who might be watching this who have no idea what promotion and relegation means, unlike in the NFL... Uh, there are lower divisions to this, to the Premier League. So and they, to all, I think, every league across pretty Europe. Much, pretty much most of them. I'm not sure if Ireland, the Electricity League, has one or not. I'm not sure, but pretty much they all have it. So there's these smaller divisions with smaller clubs, you know, not as much money, uh, that are below the Barclays Premier League. Okay, so there's, it's called the Championship Division or something. Yeah. And there's, then there's League One and League Two. So those in the championship division who finish in the top three, sort of, I'll go over that in a second, um, the top two automatically get promoted to next year's Premier League. The third place team actually dukes it out with the three teams below them in a little mini tournament to decide who the third team is that gets promoted up to the Premier League. And the Premier League, the teams that finish last in the last three spots they get demoted or relegated back to the lower division so last year we lost uh cardiff yes we lost uh, norwich norwich which i was surprised by because i thought they actually looked pretty good at times and then sunderland was strong at the sunderland end. was dead in the water and then actually it was a liverpool loney who basically lit the world on fire and helped them avoid relegation. Didn't they beat Man United? They beat Manchester United at Old Trashford. I mean, Trafford, I'm sorry. And then they even beat Chelsea. Watching. They even beat Chelsea. That was the match mm -hmm. where everybody thought, oh, it's destiny for Liverpool. But uh, um, And then the third team that we lost was... Come on. Uh, um, let's see. We... It wasn't... No, it wasn't Stoke. It Cardiff. Was, it was Cardiff. Uh, it was one of those boring teams. It wasn't West Brom. It was... Uh, I'm looking it up right now. Well, any, okay, well, he's looking that up. But anyway, um, the three lower teams will go down. The three teams that came up, we'll get to the ones that went down in a second. We Fulham. Had to, Fulham, yes, Fulham. So Fulham, uh, Norwich, and Cardiff were relegated, relegated or demoted to this lower division. The three clubs that came up... Obviously, Fulham was craving to get back to the cottage. Only EPL fans know that reference. There you go. <laughs> so the three clubs that came up, though, were the team that finished first last year in the Champions Division, or whatever it's called, and that was Leicester City. Uh, second was Burnley. And then third team to come up is QPR, which stands for the Queen's Park Rangers, who I'm not happy about. Because the third team, the third best team by almost by seven points, was my other club that I support, Derby County. And Derby County got stuck in this stupid playoff, and they lost 1-0 to QPR in the final of the tournament. Just one game where the ball just wouldn't go in the net, and QPR at the very end of the match gets one chance and it goes in. Ridiculous. QPR did not deserve to get promoted, but they did. Derby County will be in the Premier League next year. Uh, but I just wanted to go on record and say that. So the new clubs are Burnley, oh, no. Leicester City, and QPR. Uh, those are the teams that came up. So who are the teams that you think are on their way out this year? Uh, looking at all these matchups, I'm going to say, I, th I said it before, uh, Hull City. It seems like they, they just got up, and it seems like they're, I don't think they're ready. <laughs> I don't think they're ready to stay up yet. So they're going down. Um, who else did I say? Um, Southampton. I thought either them or Stoke, and I thought, you know, I haven't really seen much of good from the Southampton Saints. So I think they're going down. Plus and they traded half their team to Liverpool. All their best players are gone. Luke Shaw to Manchester United. Uh, Dan Lavra to Liverpool. Adam Lallana, their captain, to Liverpool. And Ricky Lambert to Liverpool. And... There is another guy on their team, his name is Morgan Schneiderlin, who wants out now, too, because now he's stuck on a team with no other talent. So I think Southampton is definitely in danger. I would go with Southampton as well. 
I'm I'm also going to pick Burnley because I think um, they they were they've been an up and down club the past yeah. five years, so I yeah. think they're on their way down <laughs> again. Yeah, I totally agree. I think Leicester City and QPR have enough uh, talent. QPR actually is Loic Remy on their club. He was out on loan last year to Newcastle, so he's back on there. So they got a really.